Can you see my dribble spot on the camera? He's dribbling, dude. Did, did oh, you dribble man. on yourself or did that dog pee on you? No, I dribbled on myself and I just didn't <laughs> shake well enough. And uh, I love I, a good dog. You pee. know, they always say that if you shake too much, you're you're jerking off or something. And I'm like, yeah. then you're like, damn, I shouldn't shake the same time. Says, no, screw that. You should shake it until there's nothing dribbling. I agree. Yeah, I'm old now. I got to shake it a lot. Sometimes yeah. I pee on the floor, like most of the time, 90% <laughs> of it. Grab the KY and get yourself ready. Welcome to oh, yeah. episode, what, 28? 28. Of the DM Monday podcast. Um, we have our uh, surprise co-host, Nikki T, today. Happy to be here. Mitch Wallace. Woo. And then our guest, Mr. Ryan Nelson. I can't believe it's the 28th episode and you haven't been on here yet. I feel like I, a know, here we are. I feel like a shitty friend. <laughs> we finally made it. <laughs> but um, I'm glad you're here, dude. Um, so what happened with your car getting keyed? I don't know. I just noticed it the other day. So it could have been there for a while. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know how long. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't know Maybe the date she of the got crime. super hammered one night, just keyed my truck and didn't say nothing about it. It's like, fuck right. Just kept it a secret. Did they key like anything into it? Did it say like a name? Or, no, like, but it, it was like lines all the way down to the back and then and then back and some of them turned like it wasn't like it wasn't like somebody I parked too close to them and they were like mad at me and keyed my truck one line. It was like extensive you know what i mean yeah yeah I feel yeah like you definitely had sex with that girl and didn't so call somebody back. hates me <laughs> and i think i know who it is i feel like if <laughs> did it she would just put her name in it or like, right she or just like <laughs> or something you know? <laughs> yeah i'm uh, i don't really know it's just speculation but uh i have somebody in mind who might hate me that bad <laughs> you want to call him out or no <laughs> no good. i'm not gonna say names i uh value my house and my yeah, yeah. my life too much. Yeah, <laughs> if they're willing to anonymously key your car, they could probably burn your house down. Yeah, yeah they out. could, you know, make something happen. If you're it's watching terrible. this and you keyed his car, please write your name next out. time if you're bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, I've never yeah. even seen you in it. What kind of car do you drive? I've never well, even seen you a, in it. I used to have a blue uh, Silverado 2010, and then I lost that in the flood. My house flooded uh, yeah. back in March 2021. And the damn dirt and mud from the water being in the truck was up above, like up to the ceiling, pretty much. Like if you had been sitting in my truck, you'd have oh, drowned. Oh, your whole house flooded. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. And yeah. my truck died. It was done. So, do you have pictures so I, of that? I do. I got you some pictures. Send them of to it. me. We're going to put them up so people and can James see. Yeah, I will. Car was in the tree. James like car down was in a road, tree, right? like 150 yards down the creek. And there was a. It was like a waist deep in the house, the, right? <laughs> it, it was like probably uh, almost like up knee. to your knee. Yeah. It was Nuts. pretty high, um, but we, that's 13 feet above the creek behind my house. So that's a lot of water. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And so my truck died and I found this, uh, this shitty Tahoe out in Lebanon. And I was like, yeah. man, I love, I love old school Tahoes. I'm a Chevy guy, dude. I was it's like, like one of those box ones. Or is it like a 2000? Since an 06. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I had two 06 Silverados over time. Nice. And then now, and then I saw that one, and I was like, oh, and it's an 06. And it's blue. It looks the same inside as two trucks I had before. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I already love it. Hell yeah. Well, uh, for those of you who don't know that Ryan Nelson is, uh, he's pretty much a legend in Nashville. Um, I would say. I'd say. Thank you, boys. Um, I'd say. I love his music. Some of my favorite songs are Show Up Drunk, uh, Dance All My Dances, and uh, what's the one? She Likes and Done. Oh, The Way My Heart Breaks. Yeah, The Way My Heart Breaks. And uh, Way Back When. What way about was that was the truck? The, that was the touring with y'all yeah. uh, yeah. one. Yeah, yeah so. Uh, it wasn't the truck. That's a good one. I love that. Yeah, it wasn't the truck. It's a banger. There's so many great. He has so many great songs, and uh, you got more coming out, too. I do. And uh, we've actually written together now, which is really cool. I know it took well, like seven years. It took like seven years. <laughs> well, dude, I mean, honestly, like when I first started coming to Nashville, um, I met Job, and like I didn't even know Ryan was like a uh, 
was a artist. I just thought he was just like a musician, like songwriter. I had him saved in my phone as Ryan Nelson bass forever. Cause I was, <laughs> yeah, looking, yeah. I was looking for a bass player one weekend and somebody, um, like put me in his, uh, you know sent me his contact yeah saved it as that but like uh because like at the time like it was like you and jordan fletcher and uh, y'all are all playing in the same band like, yeah we were in job's band in job's band yeah you were playing bass and jordan, jordan was, was drums Dobro chris was on this pedal steel yeah crazy and we all lived in the same house yeah it's it awesome. great the first time like i ever saw you in public you had on like like cut off suspenders that you made <laughs> <laughs> and you had them like hiked up and you were like dancing around yeah. at whiskey jam <laughs> you know i could tell i don't remember that i was, but like, I could totally I was like this guy's like 40 he's got to be insane you know <laughs> but yeah but clearly from florida but clearly yeah. Yeah, from, uh, yeah but like once i like actually moved here and like got to know people i was like oh he's just from florida it makes sense you know <laughs> yeah it does this is just a regular florida seen man. enough of it you know you, you're like oh is everyone from here crazy and I think, yeah. I think, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Even Jordan, like, Jordan seems so normal. Jordan's like, yeah, dude, just like total dad mode. And then, dude, well, I've had some crazy nights with Jordan Fletcher. That dude, he was, he'll be like, dude, you want to go take this jet ski like 70 miles an hour down a creek? It's like, we could die. He's like, I know, it's awesome. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, of course, like after that, once I realized like who you were, like an artist and all that stuff, I started just like diving in, you know, listening to the music. And then you just started like putting out music. And I was like, hell yeah, this guy's fucking awesome. So thank you. Yeah, man. We've but, been running around in the same circles for a while, all of us boys. For yeah, some yeah. All us boys. Yeah. Me love, and Trey uh, just started riding. I got drawn in by the dance on my dances, but uh, the grandpa song, we're driving around the block. Yeah, what, what is yeah. that? Which one was uh, that? The, uh, way back when. Way back, way back when. when. Golly. Yeah, so we good. brought Ryan out on, on tour with us. The I guess it was the first or the second Dick Down in Dallas tour. I don't know if it was the first or second year. Like, uh, that next year. After yeah, that next year, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we went to like Florida and did some other shows and we took <laughs> yeah. them with us. And um, well, Mitch, our bass player, um, used to play for Job. Right, her, right. But he wasn't good enough, so he got fired. So I told, <laughs> so I told him he was good enough for my band. <laughs> but so, but like he knew Ryan because they were friends, you know. And uh, you know, and Mitch always is like preaching how badass of a songwriter you know you are. You oh, know? Well, like all the thanks, time. Thanks, Mitch. Yeah. And uh, but anyways, um, he was like, "You got to play that song way back when tonight." And you were yeah. like, you were like, oh fuck, I don't even remember that song. Yeah, I had to learn it. It's it's a hard like that one was actually really hard to learn how to play. Yeah, even though I wrote that it. That song's so good. good. Who'd you dude. write that with? I wrote that with Sam Crabtree, just yeah. me and Sam. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, that was probably one of the first uh, times where I started realizing that you wrote music. I was like, you know, before I really knew who you were, I was up here recording a music video, and Sam Crabtree, Crabtree was like the light guy. Like nice. hell of a light. He's not a bad light guy, 6'10. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Giant is uh, huge light. But he was like, Yeah, man, I've been writing with Ryan Nelson. And I guess that was like Yeah. You guys got time. some hammers. Yeah. yeah. Do they do? Yeah. We've yeah, we've been writing for like five or six years and we don't really miss. But they're they're always kind of the eclectic, like art artsy songs that are usually deep and or really sad. So there's kind of like they don't end up being like the big songs you do, mm -hmm. but yeah. the way my heart breaks did did end up being one of my better songs that like performance wise. But yeah, um, yeah, it's a lot of times the melancholy stuff, but those are fun. If you yeah. have to do this all day every day and you write the same kind of shit all the time, and then you yes you get this really awesome like eclectic song. It's like oh. That's good shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're I, listening, go listen to Way Back When. Yeah, I will, say, I will say um, I listen to your music a lot. But one thing and I've told you this before, but like one thing I will say about Ryan's music is like even from like um, what's the uh, uh, breaking in leather, even from that was yeah. like that. And Sick. then what was uh, what was the cool. first song you put out? Like uh, California, California, California. Mm -hmm. like even from California, even till now. Um, all your music sonically, like all goes together. Good. I'm glad, you know I'm glad I mean? to hear that because I've I've wondered at times like, damn, is that just way too completely different? Than <laughs> like, if you took all those songs and like put them on an album, you know, and like 
you know, like, I don't know, it went through and did your, it, they would all go together, Sonic. Yeah. yeah. If that makes your sense. Your voice on California doesn't sound like you chain smoked then, though. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I did, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just a younger chain smoker. A little younger, <laughs> little younger <laughs> chain smoker. Nikki, see, what's your I first memory of, uh, of Ryan? What, do you remember the first time you saw him? I remember the first time we talked was I was running Ray's Rowdy and we were just like covering what we cover, you yeah. know? And Ryan was like, dude, who are you? And how do you know all of our friends? So was this in person or like no, on a DMs. DMs? I DMed yeah, him. Speaking DM of DMs. Monday, man. Oh, DM <laughs> Monday, I DMed man. him on yeah. a Monday. You yeah. slid in? <laughs> I think I did. It's probably you Monday. slid in the DMs? Who are you? Yeah. Oh, well, he was covering, like, you know, Whiskey Rip had like Jake Owen and it was like, Kip Moore, Chase Rice, like that kind of stuff they were covering. And then Country Rebel was had their own kind of like group of people that they covered. And and then I see Ray's Route. Well, first of all, Rowdy Rob had a Ray's Rowdy hat on. Yeah. That was and the I first was like, hat. did you make that? Like, where'd you get that? He's like, man, this company just sent it to me. I was like, well, hell, I want one. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty rowdy myself. I think I want one of those. And uh, so then I found them like, the next day and hit him up. And I'm like, every every like artist that they were spotlighting on the on the site was like people i'm like i know and i'm really good friends with so it was yeah. like musk and i'm bloodline and it was joe and it was like lady wilson at the time and like you know casey ten it was like so i was like damn how do they know and we were all not nearly where we are now so i'm thinking how does anyone know about this and so then i'm thinking oh it's somebody like in the scene yeah it's somebody, somebody we all know. know yeah so then i'm like hey do i kn do i know you who is this? Yeah. And he's like, I'm Nick. I live in Pittsburgh. And I'm like, what? <laughs> How do you know who these people How are? I don't yeah. know about I'm any just, of this I'm shit. I'm just an internet troll. <laughs> well, yeah. hey, McElwain, will you grab me a Red Bull? Yeah. Well, like, what for me, ones? it was like Revival it's and Whiskey yellow. Jam were like, what I wanted to be at every time while I was in Pittsburgh, I would just like see the lineups and be like, who yeah. are these people? Cause those are like two great curators, you know? Yeah. So I would see like what everyone was doing there. And then I'd look up their music. A lot of times then it was like on YouTube. It wasn't even like on streaming yet. Yeah. yeah. You know, you'd right. find like, like videos people took on YouTube and shit like that. Right. Or like maybe they'd have like one or two songs out. Um, and we were just covering the stuff we thought was cool that wasn't getting light shed on it, you know? I think you still do that. Yeah. You still yeah, hold that I stage. Would say so. I mean, yeah. they've been covering my songs way before Dick Down in Dallas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I, I remember. You premiered uh, your music video. Yeah. Trey did the videos. Dude, and God bless Trey Bonner. Like, he brought so many people into the Rage Rowdy family, like, yeah. before we knew them, you know? Right. Like, because yeah. he was down here, like, doing that same thing. He was like, these people are awesome, like, yeah. but no one's giving a shit about them yet. Dude, I remember uh, one time Justin Holt like was like, "Yo, Ray's Rowdy did a write up on my song. This is fucking crazy that somebody cares." Yeah, yeah. and like it just meant so much to him. Like, so I I can only assume it means so much to so many other artists to hear to see someone like give a fuck. Yeah, like and, enough to write something down. And I remember yeah. when you were just like, you know, before you like. Well, like when you Ray's Rowdy first started, like yeah. it was just blowing up, dude. It was like going, it was wild. Every time I turned around, y'all were posting shit like right and left. Like, dude, how did you even do your real job, dude? You know? I, I had a job that I'd done for an extended period of time. So, you like, just do it like this. Uh, I kind of like that. I like that formation. <laughs> so, yeah, I had I had this job that I was doing for an extended period of time, and it was just like one of those things where it was like. I knew what I was doing. I could do it very well. And then I could also do this. Yeah. Like I, they tried to promote me and I was like, I don't really want promoted <laughs> no, <that's> <laughs> <laughs> because I was like, I couldn't do this and do that next job up where yeah. it's like 20 more hours a week. And honestly, I just didn't sleep a lot. Dude. So <laughs> I DM'd uh, Ray's Rowdy three years ago and asked for a job. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. I was like, we really don't have jobs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we have jobs. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was like, oh, this looks cool. Yeah. yeah. Like, We've had that a lot. We've had people hit me up and they're like, I'd love to work for you. I'm like, I'd love to work for me. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's I was like, that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anywho, so you, that was the first time you, you heard Ryan was in the DMs. Yeah. And then I made him come up for my birthday two years in a row and oh. play my living room. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh man, those shows were the best because I'd start like I'd get there and set up. We, we, we'd hang for like you know a few you know, thirty minutes or something. I have a beer, maybe one or two, and then you know I'd start playing and we'd go for three. You know, just there was no time limit, just yeah. as long as I wanted, as long as everyone was like into it. 
And dude, the shit would end up lasting like five hours. And, yeah. and we would drink so much. <laughs> with, like by like the videos from the early of the set. Yeah. And the videos from later are like <laughs> radically different. They all got posted. <laughs> oh yeah, we posted Rep them all. Oh yeah, so we funny. have we have those pictures from the first one. Oh gosh, we have yeah. these two pictures of me and Nikki just like tanked. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. Like every three or four songs, I just bring up a shot, and we would do a shot with like one of our other friends. Hell yeah. And Ryan's like, I'm not used to really drinking like this. And I was I'm like, like, I'm not that big of a dude. I'm gonna yeah. die. <laughs> and if Ryan Nelson wasn't Ryan Nelson, you know, like. He wouldn't have fucking drove up no. there. You know what I mean? Dude, no. that's exactly it. Like, we'd become buddies at that point, you know? And, like, all I was from like, a DM. We had yep. an internet relationship. Yeah. It starts in the DMs. <laughs> yeah, my internet boyfriend. Did you Ryan send him Nelson. a hat? Yeah, of course. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he sent me some stuff. I was like, sick. I'm rowdy, dude. I was raised rowdy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then it was like, uh, once my friends were like, oh my God this is amazing and like we had our program director from the radio station we invited him to one and he's like this is super fucking cool you know like it was Ryan. yeah have like you met, have i you met ryan's charge. dad oh yeah i met ryan's dad and mom at the house oh yeah i was raised rowdy for sure oh, yeah. Or, yeah you get it on when, brother. when we played that show in florida ryan's dad came and his dad got well he got up and played harmonica with yeah you, he right? did yeah that's pretty oh, cool. that's sick that's awesome. and we were playing like in his hometown um and like three miles from the school that's named after his dad. Oh, so like probably awesome. most of those kids like went to a school that's named after my dad. That's yeah. Crazy. My granddad really did yeah, the same cool. name, you same know? Name. So he's up there just like jamming for all these kids from that school. I'm like, hell yeah. And then your brother came, he plays in like a reggae band, doesn't he? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Well, he, he did for a long time. I, I think they're on some sort of hiatus. Uh, Who do you think is wider? You put a record him? out. <laughs> yeah. Who's wider, you or him? What's up? Who's wider, you or your brother? Uh, oh. Uh, him. <laughs> He's, dude, people think, like, I was always the calm one. It always seemed like I was really calm in my house and with my family. And I would, like, be the one, like, gosh, like, chill out, you know, like that stuff. And they're like, and uh, then everywhere I went, people were like, dude, you're the craziest motherfucker I've ever met in my life. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm I think the same thing, one. too. I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. You know, like, people might, like, I feel like sometimes people talk shit about Ryan or something. Like, he's, like, some kind of, like, troublemaker or, like, he's, like, some, like, outrageous partier. But we brought him out on the road with us. That motherfucker fell asleep on the floor. <laughs> I liked his sleep, dude. <laughs> What's his sleep like, time? He partied, he, I don't care where I am. <laughs> he partied with Terry and them, and, I mean, I'm not saying you couldn't hang, but he kind of couldn't hang, you know? <laughs> well, that first night, we stayed until, like, you know, seven yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, true, true, and true. then after that, on the, fir on the first run, I was like, yeah, I'm playing the show having like, a uh, drink and going to bed. Yeah. So what's a what's a rowdy childhood story? I, in sixth grade, I had yeah. What, school. What is Ryan Nelson? So what's like your as a what's kid? your story, man? Uh, wow. So, did you ever get close to well, being suspended so like, or expelled or anything? Yeah, I can't, I'm thinking like childhood. Then I'm thinking like uh, like adolescence too. So I'm like, I don't know what which one's crazier. But like when I was young, I was I was raised in Duval County. I don't know if y'all. Duval. Know exactly about Duval County, but I'm from Duval. And uh <laughs> I was I was like raised there until I was like probably 10. And then we moved uh to like the country. So it was just like radically different like vibes. And uh just that whole experience was was super crazy going from like in the city, you know, in, in the big in the big town with everybody, all this craziness, Florida craziness, Jacksonville, to like it's quiet. Ain't nothing going on, you know. So the wild stories are like wildly different too. Yeah. You know, I'm like showing up. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. No one likes me here. I don't think. And then only like the redneck kids were like, man, he's all right, man. We'll take him, you know. So I was like, <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'll hang with them boys. And um, yeah, I mean, shit, we were killing gators illegally. We could have gone to prison for some of those, probably. <laughs> and um, like big gators, hold on, don't just skip right past that. Hold on, gators uh, are pussies. That's <laughs> Ryan Nelson. Yeah, yeah, quote, but we say a lot. That's one of my catchphrases. How big of a gator like this big? So I like to. I don't. I don't just hunt them to hunt them. I hunt them to eat them. So like, if you want a good eating, you don't want to go really above like seven feet. I guess an eight footers. Seven to eight feet is like the most meat, best tasting, like right in that sweet spot. Won't kill yeah. you totally. And like once they get to nine feet, they're just way scarier. 
Like there, there comes this like thing when they go from being eight feet long to being nine feet long, that extra foot, there's like a, like another foot of width too that comes with that. So yeah, nine footers, I'm not even messing with those. Yeah. We'd fish them with fishing poles. Yeah. You put some heavy test on there. And, and a really fat weight. a seven foot one? Yeah, fat weight, dude. Just foul hook them. And just fight them for just you know half time. an hour, forty five minutes. Let them break your line, and then usually, go I mean, you want to you want to have like friends with you because yeah. it's it's a lot of reeling. Yeah, I wouldn't go there alone. Is, <laughs> that's a strong. Are animal. you on a boat or on, on the shore? No, like what is it happening? On the dock. On the and then dock. you reel it in and just grab it. <laughs> yeah, you we know, we we gaff hook them. Gaff Do you jump them. in? What does that mean? Gaff hook something like a big it's like old, a pole with a hook on the end. Uh, you just, you just hit them. How does it die? We shoot it. Okay. Yeah. With a with a like a shotgun or yeah. a rifle? twenty two, yeah. Oh, wow. Pull the twenty two out. It's like, shoot him, oh. shoot him. You never watched it? Shoot him, shoot him. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, but we always had to bury him. What was like your, right after? What was your first like uh, sex experience as a, as a kid? I, I wanted to. I played in uh, <laughs> bands when I was really young. I yeah. started doing music really young and. I was like 14 or something, 15, playing in bands. And so when I turned 16. But like, all right, hold on one second. So you learned how to play an instrument because you're like, I'm going to get girls doing this. Or like your dad always played and you were like. Kind of a, a bunch of different little, factors. Yeah. But my dad had a guitar growing up. Like I remember yeah. like touching it and like strumming it yeah. and I couldn't play. So I'm like, okay, I'm. You know, I turned 16 and I'm, my mom's like, okay, well, you, we're going to, we're going to buy you a car so you can get to work because you're getting a job. <clears throat> uh, so, you know, we're going to spend 2000 bucks. So I was like, okay, oof, that's a lot of money. You yeah, know, so yeah, $2,000. Right? Oh no, what are we going to do? Well, that's nice. So I said, you know what I want? A big ass van. Cause I want to take my band around and all the equipment. Okay. So. My mom's like, okay, I'm down. We find this van, dude. It's like 2,700 bucks. So we went over the, mm -hmm. the limit, but it was like, it was really cheap. And it was, it had like, this is back, you know, a while back. But it had like, not even 100,000 miles, like 95,000 miles on it. It was like 2,700 bucks. And it was in like great a church shape. Name? It was like a, an E150, but it had captain's chairs in it, dude. Each seat had its own light and its own air conditioner, like a plane. Oh, wow. Okay. It had limo lights going down. Like a conversion all the way, van. All the way to the back, like rope lights that were in a little like built like structure that so made like a Chevy look Express. sick. Yeah, just like, like, like an dude. Astro or like conversion type thing. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, basically. And so, and so you the, definitely fucked in there. The back, the back seat. <laughs> That's where we're going. The back seat would fold down into a bed. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. And and like I remember one time this guy was like, "Man, your uh, <laughs> your girlfriend's dad must hate your hate your car." And I was like, "Why?" Like I didn't even know. <laughs> you know, originally. pretty cool car, man. What are you talking about? I was like, about? dude, this thing's awesome. Did you see these limo lights? <laughs> and, uh, and so my first girlfriend, oh no, she might have been. my first girlfriend and I, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. And we went, down, down we went in this van. <laughs> Had you watched like porn at this point? And so like, Yeah, but I didn't know how to find it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd never done it myself. Didn't yeah. know there was didn't know. Yeah, there I didn't was, know like, exactly what holes. to do. Yeah. So uh I was just like, well, I bet you if I park this van. Somewhere in these piney woods out here in the dark where there's nothing around and there really wasn't. And I was like, I bet you if I turn these limo lights on, something's going to happen. Yeah. You know? And so I, I like How that. long did you marinate and think about this? Were you just like, were you like, well, I'm gonna she get had kind of told me she, she wanted to, and I wasn't going to like push for it at first because we were young. And she was like, I want to have sex. And I was like, Oh shit! Yeah, me too. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Then I'm like, I have to deliver, right? I have limo like, lights. God, I want to deliver. Did you this like bad. ask any of like, your old, like your older brother, like, how do you have sex? Or no, like I don't. I don't know. I didn't, didn't ask, even do any research. I was just like, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go for this, dude. Face first. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I do a lot of things Hell face yeah. first. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. But uh so Hell yeah. we're out in the woods, man. I flip the limo lights on, get those little personal ACs going. Oh man, it's nice and crispy in there. And uh and and she's like, she's all excited. And then like we started doing it, and it's like, oh, this is like, you know, this is like weirder than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> but it was great, but we're like, 
this is fucking a lot, you know? It was just like a weird, and then we just like, we just like got done and it was Friday night. Or you got done. I said, well, yeah, right, right. <laughs> I, I definitely didn't get her done probably at that point. Um, I'm good at sex, I come every time. <laughs> <laughs> but we get through and then like immediately, cause it was a Friday night. She was like, this Friday, like she told me, she's like, this Friday. We're doing it. And I'm like, fuck. Okay. All right. I'm excited. Right. Get done. Immediately. It's like kind of weird. Get back in the driver's seat. We're like, all right. Cops didn't come. We're good. <laughs> Immediately go to a high school football game. Like everyone we know is around. And then she's like, we just fucked. And then everyone's like, y'all just fucked the yes, whole dude. school. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> then the whole school knows I just fucked. Yeah. <laughs> she like, told this is you. awkward. She it's, told not you. <laughs> yeah, she told her friends. And then everybody And then knew. everyone knew. Immediately. They're like, you just fucked? Dude, whoa. And it was like so cool. <laughs> so you and were like, I got to do it in my van that I loved with my limo lights. Dude, how <laughs> awesome is that? You instantly became the coolest guy in your school. <laughs> yeah. Because if you're like the van. first one, like I remember this is this one kid that I was like, um friends i wasn't friends with him but he was like in my in my in my school and like apparently they like hooked up with this girl at the party like he fingered her and then like you know how like the rumors mill the rumor oh, yeah. mill oh, yeah. start it's like he's like he put four fingers in there <laughs> and then by the end whole of, head in there. yeah by the end of the day it's like the whole fist you know yeah, yeah. but it's like it was at like the lunchroom table you know oh, yeah and then by the end of the day it's like i was like going up to him it's like yeah i heard you got three fingers up and or whatever <laughs> it's like i don't know it's just Man. like it's just so funny to me how like all that shit's just like a mystery when you're a kid you know yeah. it is and it's uh it's like at the same time like simultaneously terrifying and like you want it so bad yeah you're like god i just want to fuck so bad but you're like damn is that the most terrifying thing i've ever thought about might be oh yeah but it was fun. I, I liked my van and I was in the woods. I like being in the woods. I like being in vans. So was there a pregnancy scare for the first time? After the first time? No, no. No? No, yeah. My first time I had a pregnancy scare. Oh, oh your really? first yeah. time. <laughs> and I was Let's, like, this is awful. I'm never doing it again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, it uh, was brutal, son dude. Of a the gun. camera can't see, but my friend Chris, he's here. We have another friend, him and his uh, uh, wife hooked up. They weren't married yet. They were boyfriend and girlfriend. They waited to like have sex because they were like trying to have like a healthy relationship yeah. or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. So the first time they <laughs> never had, heard of that. First, <laughs> yeah. first time they had sex, they got pregnant. Oh, <laughs> oh, gosh. oh. yeah. Yeah. I, I remember leaving amazing. like I was in like tenth grade and I remember like walking out of class and like throwing up in the trash can because I was like, this <laughs> sucks. <laughs> <I'm being daddy. laughs> I, like, I can't even drive yet. <laughs> like the girl went to like a different school and she was like texting me and shit during class being and I was like you gotta that, leave me alone <laughs> being freaked out that you got somebody pregnant or that you have an STD is about the same amount of anxiety yes. you know what I mean uh, I, I just remember throwing up and I was like hey just never talk to me again yeah. alright yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. that's the first time I ever had sex I um, I drank like um, 12 Bud Heavies in like 45 minutes and took a bunch of <laughs> Jesus <laughs> took a bunch of Valium <laughs> I don't even we, know what Valium is yeah. oh man it's like wow. Xanax yeah. oh, Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Son of a bitch. And this was back in my using days. And um, my uh, my friend that I worked with at Hardee's, we went to the gas station. <laughs> Sounds to get awesome. A, we went to the gas station to get a blunt wrap. And uh, he was like, yo, man, my, my cousin thinks you're hot. Well, she saw you at the gas station. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, whatever. Yeah. So we went over to his, like, friend's house. And... um. And we were like smoking blunts and whatever. And that girl shows up and like we were in the kitchen and like, I don't know. I was just trying to act like I knew what I was doing. You know, I was like yeah. 18 when I lost my virginity. So this by this point, like I had like watched so much porn that I was convinced. <laughs> that I had sex. You're like, like I'm going to be great. all my friends that had sex. Like I still hadn't. You, you were know, ready. though. I yeah. was ready, though. And uh, I like 
she i was like in the kitchen she was like you're really tall and i was like yeah you know what that means and she was like what's that i was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we like <laughs> i don't know either i don't know either yeah, you know what i mean yeah <laughs> so we like go back to my house or whatever and like by this point i was like i didn't have any money because i spent all my money on drugs and alcohol yeah Roll but time. i had like some yeah i had some change <laughs> I had a little change in my pocket you know? macaroons over there like yeah i know that <laughs> <laughs> i don't Buying drugs. <laughs> Dude, I got a beer and a margarita. <laughs> but it's pretty good. But anyway, so, so I like, I go to this gas station and they have like one of those 75 cent condom things. Oh, uh, yeah. In the bathroom. Yep. Yeah. And, oh, uh, that ribbed. They got the ribbed one. Yeah. So they I smell like purple. tickler. Yeah. Uh, brutal. So like, I, I buy this condom. I'm like, I'm like, I'm about to have sex. This is crazy. And uh, oh, yeah. when I get back scared. to my You're house, nervous. like I can't figure out how to get the condom, like not mm. the condom, but I can't figure out how to get the uh, bra off. I'm like, yeah, you're mm -hmm. just gonna have to do this for me. And I told her like right, <laughs> right before I went in, like I was like, I was like, yeah, it's been a minute. I'm just gonna let you know, you know. And I've had sex in a while. And it's been like, like 18 years since I've been to one race. <laughs> <laughs> I get the condom on, and I'm like three pumps in, and it bursts. Oh it, no! Oh, oh, it starts, no. And was, she was like, she was like, oh, I got one of those uh, the IUD things. Yeah. I was like, okay, cool. Once I'm steel trap. Sick. And, no, uh, and you didn't really understand what that meant. You were like, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. I just was like, <laughs> sure. I would finish and just keep going. You know. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, hold on, Am dude. I supposed to just keep doing this? Like, for how long? And this this was a, a girl. Timer? Somebody set a timer. This was a girl you met that day at the gas station. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> at a gas station. It was like my friend's cousin. Everybody, no. everybody in Pell City are like cousins. That's awesome. Yeah. It's Alabama. That's how it works. Everybody's yeah. cousins. Yeah, so... I don't know. It was it was That's a cool. wild experience. I won't go into too much more detail, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. dude, I, yeah. But That's like amazing. it was like there was no like slow motion. It was just like you know, really. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, dude. Jack Hammer, <laughs> Jack Hammer, because that's oh, what yeah. you see in porn. You know what yeah, I mean? Oh, yeah. Like I don't know. I think something needs to be done. Like be more informative on these. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's like, they call it softcore porn. It's on HBO. Yeah, yeah. Where you all like go in this nice and sensual life. When you're like you know when you're like 14 and you all go to your friend's house and you sit in the basement and you all jerk off at the same time. Just don't look. <laughs> yeah, there needs that. to be like a beginner <laughs> section on porn. You or can something. cut that out. Out, but I know somebody in here did that. I'm Poor not the only one. Poor Trey Wilson. Did it. <laughs> I'll Come take on. this couch. You take that one. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> I, mean, I, I remember I sit next to my friend like right here and we put pillows up like this. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, all right, man. All right, your, stay in. Don't look. <laughs> Keep your eyes on channel 21, all right? Don't look at me. Don't look. <laughs> yeah. Dude, if you edit uh, this out, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I, I hope he watches this. I'm not gonna say his name, but uh, he'll know exactly who he is. Oh man, how did we get here? Y'all do some bean boozled? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I've been waiting to do this. Oh, Nikki T, you want to go first, <laughs> dude? I'm, I'll do a handful. I don't care. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Do a spin. You if it lands spin on Two Faced. You got to pick a different dude, one. Get Nikki T to do the brand new flavor. Deliver an onion. Oh, uh, that's hell yeah. Uh, stinky socks are tooty fruity. Oh, oh right. No, do, do liver an onion for Nikki T. Oh, man, these smell terrible. Smell. Oh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Dude, liver and onion for Nikki T. All right. Oh, the brown. brutal. Oh, Li liver and onion I made it. on purpose. We're all gonna What's do the good side of it? Uh, <laughs> ca cappuccino. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so there's, <laughs> there's, there's there. good ones and bad ones. Are hey. they all bad? Uh, no, they could be good or it could be terrible. Y'all two doing together and me and Ryan will do one together after. All right. All right. This is stink bug or... <laughs> or Toasted marshmallows. <laughs> Yum. Stink bug. I like marshmallows. Ugh. Oh, they smell so awful. I just like think of the stink bug like just laying there dead and then like crunching into it. We did eat bugs on here once. I mean, I would oh, eat a bug. Oh, Lord. They're in that cup right there, actually. I think. There's crickets in there, but they taste good. No, the crickets aren't bad. I bet oh, it's a good so. diet to just like eat these and throw up all yeah. the time. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you're down in great the shape, dude. How you do it? Yeah. <laughs> down the hatch, Be boys. <laughs> You ready? Down right, the hat. Cheers, brother. Oh, we're gonna do ours next. Yeah, it's liver and onions for sure. Yeah. Touch the uh, marshmallow. You finish it, these. That was. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Mitch yep. ate that last night. We about dude, to there's no oh. shot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> no. 
Yeah. Easy, easy work. Oh, easy work. All right, Ryan, let's see what you get. You got liver and onion too? Oh, shit. Did he really? Or are you just saying? No, I swear he did. You still, want everybody uh, to feel your Ryan. pain? Hey, there's still about 50 50 on that one. It's, it's not that bad, Ryan, honestly. Oh, whatever. <laughs> God. I can't do that one. Shit. <laughs> I can't do that one. <laughs> just keep playing yeah. on liver and onion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, old bandage. I've done that one before. I'm just going to pick oh, one I've never done. Oh, it's going to be terrible. Do the the booger. fish. Do the fish. Now booger. Booger and toothpaste are like worthless. Booger. Dead, oh. Strawberry smoothie or dead fish. Oh yeah. My oh. mom has definitely cooked liver and onions before. <laughs> Dude, I got toasted marshmallow. I'm gonna have liver and onions the dead fish. What a blessing. Night. Strawberry banana or dead fish, and you got cappuccino or liver and onion. Uh, cheers. cheers, boys. Cheer it up fast, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Be a man. Oh man. <laughs> Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bad. <laughs> I'll do another one. I don't care. Real bad. <laughs> Ew. My breath's going to smell forever. You know what that tastes like? It tastes like uh, like beef stock in the, in the ramen noodles. Yeah. Like I was going to say it tastes like college. The chives. Like the chives. It tastes like college. <laughs> tastes like college. Tastes like college. <laughs> Face first, baby. Jesus. Face first. My That's coffee's just, tasted like You going to do another thing? I'll do another one. I don't care. <laughs> Here, pick a real gross one that I could it get. Like you college. got the grossest one. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> dude, there's one of those. Oh, that was a rotten bad. egg? Oh, I think barf dude. would be the way to go. <laughs> barf. Oh, <laughs> man. Nikki's used to throwing up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so gross, dude. Right. I almost threw up. Let's see. Juicy dude, that pear. Is bad. Juicy pear or barf? Juicy pear. Damn. Oh, I'll give him another. She's a beaut, Clark. Ooh, how do they figure out how to make like such shitty flavor into a jelly bean? We've been trying to figure that out. This, that so is like I'm an just art going form. again for the same one. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it's, 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 it's either dead fish or barf or pear or, or strawberry bananas. So right. I'm gonna get the good taste out of my mouth. Dead first. fish is it, like you'll know in the third bite. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was bad. You ever think about sushi, Good one again. Sushi's just dead <laughs> ass fish. Yeah, true. They don't even do shit to it. They're just like, here's yeah. a fish, cut it like you fucking bear grills. You don't fuck with sushi? Mm-mm. Dude, I love look, sushi. man, I'll eat like some tuna. I'll eat like, you know. You just got great crab, taste in your mouth, huh? But I ain't eating no gross shit. Ugh. That one's gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. dead, dead fish? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. dude, I hope you have dude, you're not swallowing on. that, bro. Like, I'm not a quitter, man. Oh. I'm not a quitter, <laughs> dude. Nikki's I am. Just, just taking him down, dude. He's not even giving a fuck. Yeah. Ladies, DM Nikki T. Look what he can do. <laughs> <laughs> he don't care. I'm from Bay <laughs> County in care. Pennsylvania, dude. With no dude, mind. Nikki T's a festival guy. He's done way hey. nastier shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, festival He's life a PA is gross. guy, man. They make tons of beer, dude. Yeast is part of beer. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's normal. You know? How uh, jealous that, uh, are you that you weren't at Woodstock 99? Oh, uh, dude, I wish uh, I was at that festival just because of the lineup, not because of like all the rapey stuff that happened, but yeah. like, you know, the lineup. <laughs> yeah, right. I would yeah, want to see good. all the huge fires. Yeah. That would have been dope, dude. Yeah. That one is like, I got fire. I'd been like, let's go, dude. <laughs> That's the original power more fire, pallets, dude. I'm telling yeah. you. How about the water Those they were pallets. drinking? That was like poopy water. Oh, my God. That's so gross. <laughs> like, that's gross. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't even know what. Have you haven't watched the oh, Netflix yeah, documentary? Yeah, the, oh. We watched it on the bus one day, but I wasn't really paying oh, attention. That's great, man. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. I love it. They fucked that place up. I remember when that happened because, like, you know, I'm old, and uh, it was like they like had a big thing on the news for like weeks about it. Yeah, and I was like, "What are they yelling about?" You yeah, know? People, like, people died, right? Yeah, people died. People died like every festival. I know that sounds crazy, yeah. but yeah. like if you have enough people together in a spot, there's going to be people that die yeah. from one thing or another. They you had two hundred, or was it two hundred thousand? Yeah, it was a Especially lot. Like, that's that's Co- like a big people, town. People died like Coachella and stuff. A couple every year. It's like so hot and yes yeah. yeah. a couple every year and it's, it's, it's like having like heart a, a whole ass town there yes you know if you got 75 to multiple hundreds of thousands that's like a decent sized town 
Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I think that one was like 200 or 250. Yeah. It's that's like, crazy. That's the size of Tallahassee where I want to go. If you have school. four days, someone's going to die. You yeah. know what so I mean? So like, yeah. to make it to Woodstock 98, would you pay $5,000? Right now, yeah, right now to be able to attend that, fuck yes, yeah, I really? would too. Yeah. I'd pay ten grand, easy money, yeah, yeah. dude. dude that lineup, biscuit, give me some to break, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude. That lineup, just again, I have a rage against like, machine. Well, can you pay that much and you're gonna live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, well, I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess part, of, to live. part of the fun is the risk of yeah. you might die though. So yeah. I mean, yeah. it would be your your average. I would just bring a of bunch death. of liquid death now because it's here. You know, yeah. I'd be like, yeah. I'm going to drink this. Yeah, I've never been to a festival. Oh, um, man. as a like as a viewer. Yeah. So like, do you do you get to shower? Is there showers somewhere? Yeah. So I'll I'll speak specifically about like country concert, which yeah. is like the one that we go to all the time. <laughs> country concerts in Fort Lauderdale, Ohio. We are on what they call the Verisade, where we camp, and it's like where all the sinners are. You know. Yeah. So it's like a little more like tent camping yeah. and like a little more like, like south park camping side of town yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh so what they do is they have these big trailers full of showers cool so you go up you pay seven bucks and it's not always the best water pressure is that the ones where you have to push the button every couple seconds to keep it coming out yeah, yeah. well these ones it's like those but these ones do have handles oh, okay. so you can just leave it on and honestly you can stand in there like for pretty much as long as you want yeah so you're just like obnoxiously hung over and you're like I feel just like total terrible and you're just like, okay, I'm going to go spend that $7 and that's the best you're going to feel all day. Is it yeah. open shower or is it? It's like all, it's like a stall. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Now we did go to a festival last year and Ron came, uh, <sighs> it was called blame my roots fest, which is also in Ohio. It's just like the side of Ohio closer to where I grew up. So it's like methy. You it's know? like yeah. West Virginia. <laughs> yeah. It's like methy. Yeah. Ohio. Dude, it's rougher than right. that in that part. Like, yeah, it's like, like Joe Burrow's from. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. There's it's nothing a little wrong with a little bit of meth though. We no, got yeah. wild. <laughs> we yeah. got wild. I, uh, I tripped balls for at least a whole day. <laughs> One at least entire day. Well, so what, what they did <laughs> was it was just a little festival and like, so like, we went and sold merch, but like we sold like two grand in merch. It wasn't a lot, like all weekend, you know, yeah, yeah. but they gave us like 22 tickets. So I just like collected all of the finest degenerates and brought them up. So of course, Ryan was there yeah. and I was like, Ryan, I expect nothing from you except when I tell you to be inside, just be inside at that time. Motherfucker didn't do that either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, the first day, I don't even like, yeah, remember it. He was just like passed out in like other people's campsites and they'd like walk him home. They'd be like, hey, is this one yours? He has the same shirt as you guys. We <laughs> saw the flag. Is this one belong yeah. here? Yeah. Do you remember the Amish girl? Oh my God. The people's yeah. elbow, dude. Oh, oh crazy. Man. I actually bowed this rum spring uh like having Amish girl, I guess, in the head. I, I guess there's a lot of Amish people around there. Yeah. Uh, I guess there was a, a several of them that were on the Rum Springa thing at the festival, and there was some girl I didn't notice because I was like in the throes of being, you know, high as balls on mushrooms, <laughs> so I didn't know where I was. And then there's this like apparently there's this Amish girl that was like talking to people in our camp, and I didn't I didn't see her, and I was talking to. Somebody and I was like, oh, bleep, 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 you know, whatever. And I went to like go like this with my hair, like put my hair back. And I came down with my elbow at the exact time that this Amish girl was running past me. And my, oh, no. it just completely, it was like, like WWE perfect wrestling. Perfect timing, dude. Ooh. I blasted her with the top, like bottom of my elbow, right on the top of her head. Damn. And she went down. Kaboom! And I was like, Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what is happening? They're like, dude, you just bowed this little Amish girl in the head, and I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I'm a nice guy, dude. I just like she's all on the ground. Then she gets up and she's like, and then runs away and then collapses again, like 25 yards away. So I'm like, you might kill her. We're not she sure. Like, I'm like, did she? Do like I need to go like do something about this? So I, would, I walk over and I'm like, hey, are you okay? And she's like, don't. Die. Man, I'm like, oh crap! I'm like, guys, I don't know if I'm tripping balls and this is just made up. Is You're not this real, happening? or yeah. this is actually real. It is totally real. And I walk back over. I'm like, yo, she's scared, dude. Somebody go like figure out if she's okay. Have you ever done? Have you ever done acid? No, just yeah. mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like acid more, <clears throat> dude. dude. Yeah, dude. I'll tell you right now, I've done acid a lot, and I've had work. I've had bad trips on mushrooms. 
Over yeah, acid. I've actually never had a bad trip on acid and only on mushrooms. Yeah, I've never done I'm going to tell you, you want to hear my story about my time on mushrooms? Yes. Absolutely. Cool. I feel like it's cool when I talk about doing drugs because I don't do them anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, so we used to go to this this farm, which is pretty funny now because the farm we used to go pick mushrooms at is my brother, uh, my brother's my sister-in-law's farm now. I didn't know that back then. It's in Mountain Brook. It's like the only farm left in like the inner Birmingham. And they had cows, and we used to go out there, and we used to pick uh, mushrooms, and then we'd go back to the house and put them in the blender, blender with um, Kool-Aid and ice. Is it that easy? Hold on. You can just wildly find these? Yeah, they're on, cow shit. they're on cow shit. Yeah. yeah. If you know what you're looking for, it is. And uh, Do you think there's kids that go to your sister's farm now? And do no, it? no, because it's it, they don't have them anymore. This was oh, just in okay. high school. But it was called, they were, uh, we called it Sweet Dookie. Cool. That's what it tasted like. You know? Yeah, sweet. Like dookie. you might just run the mushrooms under the sink, you oh, know, but yeah. you don't like really wash them off. Oh. People made like tea and stuff, but we didn't know anything about that. It tasted like shit when you ate it. Yeah, a little oh, bit. It's, in, it's little, in shit. Little hint. It's of made from yeah. of the shit. They grow like overnight. Like it can rain. Oh and yeah, can, they, yeah. They'll grow in instantly. Hours. Can, yeah, like it'll it'll rain, and then you can go out to the field, and then there'll be just like little mushrooms. Is it a trip the top. because you're eating shit? No, it's psychosilocybin. Yeah, yeah. Mushrooms. It's like it's poisoning poison. you, kind of. Yeah. You're poisoning yourself on yeah. purpose. Jesus Christ. All right, continue. <laughs> I've, I've never done any of this, obviously. <laughs> Can so, you get it off human shit if you shit in the yard? Yeah. Okay. Could you? Would it no, be? no, no, no. Because no, they eat no. so much grain and no, stuff. It's like they shit grain. Yeah, it's like a special <laughs> Yeah, it's like a special kind of thing. Okay, well anyway, There's, continue. Sorry. So anyways, so like the thing with like psychosilocybin mushrooms is like once you eat them a lot, like you build up a tolerance. So mm. like you know, like if you're eating them all the time, like you're not going to, it's going to take more to trip mm -hmm. where like the kind that people grow in their fucking apartment, you know, are a lot stronger. But anyway. So like I'd taken a break because I was doing it way too much. Like I was eating them before school and throwing them up in the bathroom. And I was just like, all right, just, you know, it's just bad for your stomach. Got to take a yeah. break. Well, they also had these other kinds that were called Liberty caps. They were white. They were just less potent. And my buddies came over and they had some and we all blended them up in my downstairs, downstairs bedroom. And I drank mine. Well, they all had been eating them for a while. So they weren't tripping. So they were like, all right, we're fucking out of here. So they left and I had like a little bit of weed, you know, like when you, when you do mushrooms, if you smoke a little bit of weed, you'll like really start to trip. It like kicks it into effect. So I went outside, I smoked a little bit of weed. I sat on my bed and I'm sitting there watching the Andy Mickinocles show. Y'all remember that show? Oh, on TV? People used to call me Super in so man. much growing up. Really? I could see God, that. I hated it. <laughs> Did you have that kind of hair or something? Uh, I could see it, dude. Hair. I hated that kid because of it's that. It's my soap. I'm Spanish Miller's Marcus. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm like sitting people there. People would be like, soap on my head, but don't call me a soap head. It's some stupid <laughs> shit. Like, I refuse to watch it because of how often I heard it. So I'm like yes. sitting there watching the show and I'm like, watch it. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to kind of get the giggles, you know? Oh, yeah. And then my muscles, like, start to tighten up. I'm starting to stretch, and I, like, pop my neck. And when I pop my neck, I was just like, boom, it just hit me. Damn. And I started, like, tripping tripping balls, dude. And I was by myself. And everybody knows you don't trip by yourself, you know? Unless you're just, like, weird. Like, I knew a couple of motherfuckers that would just, like, Not trip the balls idea. by themselves. So, like, you hallucinate, like, see shit? Yeah, I mean, I was going crazy, dude. Like, I was laying on my bed with my eyes closed because I was just, like, freaking out. And, like... I imagine that I was in my casket and there was like people walking around in the wall. In the oh my like, God. Damn, that's kind of like, cool. It was weird. And then, <laughs> <That's not cool. laughs> and then like, I was like having hot flashes and I took my fan and like put it on my dresser and I was just like this. Like, uh, <laughs> and I was like, and then my heart started beating really fast. Oh, and I was no, like, I don't like that. I went upstairs on the, my parent, my mom was asleep upstairs the whole time. And like, I had some cigarettes and I was like, I went on the front porch and I was going to smoke a cigarette. And I put the cigarette up to my lips and I got the grill lighter to light it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, the whole face just felt like jello. I was like, I can't do this. I've got to go wake up my mom. So, like, I just like, oh no. And I no. felt like I was like, oh no. All this probably happened within an hour, but it felt like 10 years. You know Jeez. what I mean? And I was like, I got to go wake up my mom. And I woke up my mom and I, I remember to this day, like, walking down the steps. I was like, Mom, I need you not to freak out because if you freak out, I'm going to freak out even more. But I ate some psychosilocybin mushrooms and I know you're a nurse and I know you, you can check me out and make sure that I'm not dying, but I'm freaking out. Jeepers. And then, 
<clears throat> me and my mom sat on the couch and she, I like I put my legs like on the inside of the couch and she laid like this way with her legs on so like I don't know I felt secure yeah and just till I kind of like calmed down <laughs> that's the worst I never I, like I, that was the only drug that ever scared me to like not do it again so I did it two more times just to make sure I didn't like <laughs> it but after that I never did it again yeah <laughs> <You know>? dude <laughs> I, that was reminding me of so I was at Rob Wilford's one night and he's like yo I got this thing it's called a neck hammock and I was like Oh, that sounds pretty cool. You know, yeah, he's like, like for like back problems and neck problems. I have both. I was yeah. like, okay, I'm totally about that. Let's try it out. And it, it like hangs off a door or something. It's like bungee cord. It's like some crazy stuff. Yeah, sounds and sexual. You put it on your head. Well, I laid in that thing and I was woke up. I think Noah Hicks was there or something and woke me up. And I felt like I had like closed my eyes, dozed off and got woke up by Noah. And it, he's like, yo, dude, are you all right? I'm like, yeah, man, what's up? And he's like, you've been out for like an hour and a half. I'm like, damn, <laughs> damn. I just like had this hangout, just out. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit, dude. And I popped right up. Like, I wasn't drowsy. I wasn't tired. Yeah. It wasn't like I was in. Like, it was just like this perfect boop. I was just up. I was like, oh, what's up, dude? Oh, cool. We're up. Okay, sweet. And um, for like two or three days, I swear to God, dude, I had zero shoulder pain, zero neck pain. Zero back pain. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen, ever felt. Like there's always something nagging, and it was like nothing was nagging. And I was I was so loose, and it was great. And it like stretches your spine and your neck like out a little bit and loosens up your discs and like all this great stuff for your back to yeah. alleviate the pressure. But what I didn't also realize it does if you've taken acid before is it opens up your spine oh, and your yeah discs and stuff yeah so <laughs> you were probably kind of oh, tripping. i was micro tripping for like a week dude nice and then i was like yo fuck my an acid bro <laughs> just buy a neck hammock <laughs> and just <laughs> lay it and, and just trip for free <laughs> yo, You're what a good idea i'll never be a pilot for damn sure <laughs> but i can definitely lay in my neck hammock do you have no. one now Oh yeah, I got one. <laughs> nice. Nice. I'm tripping right now. It's just way cheaper than acid. It, it definitely do, it hasn't had like the same the same effect as far as like the intensity of it. But yeah, you never know. Like when I'm having like a micro trip anymore, dude. I've got a, I've got a kick ass chiropractor. If you're into that kind of oh, thing. dude. If I if I go to a chiropractor right now, I'm gonna be tripping balls for a week. Yeah, well, again, probably. It's like ah. Uh, so what's going on? You got any new music coming out? Yeah, dude. So I, y'all probably remember. I've probably showed y'all the shit yeah. as long as we all know each other. Um, I've had this stuff done since uh, April of 2021. We went in the studio on this second. When I signed with Matt and all them, you know, we did the Two Trick Pony album, the seven song EP or whatever. And then we went into the studio again, like before we even put that out, like before yeah. that even came out, we were already back in the studio. We ate Cinco. That we cut like mean. 10, so we cut like 10 more songs. So I was like, all right, we got, we got the hopper full. Dude, I had yeah. seven songs with the two trick pony. And this one was tens of 17 of them. I'm like, you know, feeling good. And just one, one thing or another, you know, it just didn't end up coming out. And we, I was on that jelly tour and dude, like we didn't get, any progress done for like four months of that because yeah. I was just gone a ton. And when I got back, I did not want to, yeah, you know, worry about doing that. Yeah. So that whole time, pretty much, there was very little progress made. Then we finally made some more progress getting into 2022. Yeah. But, you know, through this year, you know, jelly stuff popping off and then like just being in a scramble, ba yeah. basically, it seemed like where I wasn't trying to push too hard for to just to put stuff out just to put it out so yeah. we kind of like let that storm get weathered yeah and then now it's like okay we're putting it out let's get this done cool. yeah so eight songs eight more uh way back when was part of that group of songs yeah. and uh, bad tattoo was Hell yeah. so we got eight more and they should be coming out between march and summer Hell oh, yeah. sick. So Hell I'm yeah. stoked. Yeah, I'm pumped too. Finally, wow. two years. <laughs> Finally, two We're years. We're here. I have a question for you. So I, I know that the DMs are currently closed for you. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, what are, you know, the name of the podcast? K Monday. 
So what are some of the craziest DMs you've received? Is there any that stand out along the years, like going on tour or like being in the public eye? Like you get some crazy shit. So what uh, is there any that that stand yeah. out among others? I don't know if I remember like specifics of a, a, of what was being said, but there's like uh, there's like demographics in my head, you know, yeah. like like people who are the most willing to say shit yeah. to you. That's wild. And it's like always like middle aged women. Yeah. Do you, do you get yeah. that? Oh, yeah. Okay. They, just, yeah. they just start off right like off the bat. Middle-aged women just are just like, I would suck your... And they're like, whoa, damn. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, the young girls are like, really liked your set last night, you yeah. know? And then, the, and then like, you know, if you follow up, you know, maybe it gets weirder down the line. But middle-aged women just come out the gate with it. Have you ever had any come out the gate with photos? No, well, like DM I mean, request photos? Snapchats. You ever had any than, dudes just send you pictures of their butthole before? Because I have. <laughs> no, no. But I did have Terry Adams get butt ass naked in front of me, which yeah. who hasn't? Y'all yeah. both got naked, right? <laughs> no, no, no. No, I hugged him, though. He, he couldn't believe I hugged him. I was like, I love this guy. He is butt ass naked right here in this hotel room with these two women over here. Can you I'm confirm like, the rumors? This guy's the coolest motherfucker I've ever known. Can you confirm the Terry rumors? The Terry rumors? Yeah. Oh, BDT? Yeah. Can I confirm? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, my joke with Terry is, uh, man, you should see that guy's knees, man. He bruises his knees all up with that thing. Hit him like, a, like a clock pendulum now. He's fucking walking around. <laughs> what about you, Nikki T? Any crazy DMs? Dude, I don't. Not that many. It's weird, like getting DMs on the Ray's Rowdy account because yeah. there's like seven people signed into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, I've had some like risque stuff in there, and I'm like, I couldn't even respond to this if I wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I, I, I can't tell you how many times Alex has like sent me a text and been like, "Hey, dude, just get that girl's number because there's like ten people <laughs> logged into your Instagram, <laughs> and you're saying some crazy shit." I have to turn off notifications. How all do y'all flirt on Instagram? What y'all's like go to way? Uh, Dude, I don't flirt. That's bullshit. Yeah. Like that. Sometimes I, like, I make them do it to me. Sometimes I like follow a girl and then I'll go like like 10 of her old pictures from <laughs> yeah. like 2013. Real creepy <laughs> stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll go and like like two old photos yeah. and then I'll leave it. If they like two of mine, then I'll I'll like like two more. And, so like, and then I'll DM and be like, are we going to keep go. flirting on Instagram or are you going to give me your number? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. There is one that shall not be named that uh, uh -oh. DMs get wild with. <laughs> Do they? Are they? I think good? you know who I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, I, we, do we all? Do I? Hey, you know, I'm not trying to start any fires I can't put out, but uh <laughs> please don't key his car. <laughs> went down, 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 the flames were hard. Yeah. Good yeah. times. Don't key your car, yeah. Well. Your key, your good car's times. totally good. <laughs> Love you, Brian Fraser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's another person we got to get on the episode, dude. Brian, Brian Fraser, y'all. He's fun. He's awesome. He's a Brian, good. I just wrote with him this week, and um, yeah, it was a it was a beer drinking ride, and I and Brian Brian's like Brian will drink with you, but Brian like doesn't like to do that when he's in like pro mode, and he's yeah. got to drive all the way back to like halfway across Tennessee Egypt. to get to his house. Yeah, and uh, I was like, man, I brought beers. And Brian was like, yeah, man, I'll have a beer. And he had one. And me and Eli locked. Love and Eli then too. I drank like 10 of them. And then <laughs> I was like, damn. Welcome to and the I shit thought, show. I, thought, I, was going, I thought, thought we were all going in together on it. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I'm just writing a honky-tonk song. When you write a honky-tonk song and you drink beers, as I do, yeah. you know, they, they go hand in hand. Bush Light just makes honky-tonkers just kind of well up out of the ground like you don't have to try for sure, for sure. it just happened um yeah. so i have two questions one of them is on the serious side and one of them is going to be on the the wild vulnerable side which are one? we all going to answer or just right yeah we're first? all going to answer cool Damn, all right which one do you want first nikki t the vulnerable the serious one or the crazy yeah, one the serious one the serious question what is one thing that this is off the top of my head what's one thing that you wish people knew about you without you having to say it. And I'll go first here to like start off like what the, the, the answer can be. My thing I wish people knew about me without me having to tell them is that it always hasn't been this good that I grew up poor and, and like my dad did not buy that truck. 
Like that's something I would hate to have to say to someone, <clears throat> but I wish they automatically knew. Yeah. yeah. Mitch was broke as fuck. Yeah. His childhood was terrible. It completely sucked, but nobody can see that now. And I hate telling people that. Yeah. But I wish they all knew. What you got, Nikki? Um, one for me is like everybody thinks I'm comfortable all the time and that like everything's easy for me, like talking in front of people and stuff like that. And it's not like I get nervous every time I go up on stage, like in a writer's round or like talk in front of small groups of people, too. I just work through it. And I've gotten to a point where, like, I guess people don't think I am, which is great. But yeah. that's a. People always say like, "Oh, I can't imagine doing that." It's like you just got to do it. Yeah, and that's a that's something that, you know, I think people think that I'm a certain way sometimes, and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm just working on it like everybody else." Yeah, yeah. I guess the thing for yeah. me is like, uh, I mean, y'all know this, and the people that know me know that I'm like a a good stand up person. But Absolutely. like, I don't know. I think a lot, a lot, like a lot of kind of along with what Nikki T said, a lot of people mm -hmm. think that because I sing Dick Down in Dallas that I'm just like this outrageous like character you know what I mean and I don't know I guess I s sometimes wish that people knew that I had character instead of being a character you know what I mean yeah yep it's like, I, don't know. I would pretty much say the same thing I think you know people think I'm this outrageous character and I'm like dude I'm bo I'm kind of boring a lot of times and like I I've read a lot I have I graduated college and I was going to try to go further. My mom's a college professor. I grew up like around academia and I like to think and like learn. It's like my favorite thing to do. Dude, I've read two and books. People think I'm stupid. You. People think I'm like, people think I'm like, they're like, how does he write those songs? Like he's so crazy. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're really smart. Uh, all yeah. right. Well, <laughs> like I'm sometimes the smart, weird people are the craziest fun guy, you know, in public and it's easy for me to be that guy because i'm hyper as hell mm -hmm. and i and i like i like to party and have fun absolutely but you know i think there's this idea that like i'm always hammered yeah uh, you know he, he'll probably show up drunk you know like <laughs> I, I hear that more than anything did you show up drunk and i'm like fuck no loser it's tuesday i'm fucking sober <laughs> i had shit to do i'm just a loud know? person okay. yeah. yeah i'm just loud i think people think i'm always hammered or on blow because i'm loud you know <laughs> yeah. it's pretty hilarious and then when i am hammered on blow it's the same thing so yeah. I, it's like <laughs> you're like i you're like, exactly there's no it. difference you know almost <laughs> yeah I get uh, that too. Like with Ray's Rowdy, like people just think that I'm partying all the time, and I'm like, you have no idea what Ray's Rowdy really is, you know? Like, right? I'm I'm packaging your hats at the house and shipping them out in know? my underwear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is Dude, merchandise. Uh, I read yeah. two books because of you. I read really. I read Green Lights, the Dude. Matthew McConaughey book, and then I read the book, um, either Still Like an Artist or. What's the uh what's the rapper? Um Oh Russ. Russ, his uh, book. Oh man. The yellow one. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of the I name can't of think it. of the title of it either. Let's see, let's look it up. Oh shit. It's uh, it's in your head or something like that. It's I all in your Russ. head. I think I've only read two books in my life, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I just ordered three more books this week. I'm so bad at that. I think it's, it's, it's just called head. Head. Yeah, it's it's all in your head, Russ. It's all in your head, yeah. yeah. My, for me, like, I can't read, like, science fiction books and stuff and, like, yeah. really get into that. But, like, and I honestly used to not read books at all. But, like, books, books motivate yeah. me in terms of, like, okay, if I read something and it's, like, inspirational, even if it's not about, like, something that's directly related to me, I'm like, oh, crap, cool. Like, that, like, gets yeah. me back on my grind. Yeah. So, like, I've recently, probably in the last two years, like, gotten reading a little more. And I usually just do it in my bedroom. Like I do it like if I can't sleep or something, you know? Right. Yeah. And then, but it will like, it makes my brain work in a different way to where I'm like, okay, I'm back on my grind, mm -hmm. you know? Totally. Yeah. Like it stimulates the brain. Absolutely. And, and creativity. Yes. Cool. All right. Well, we got All right, we're going to go to the wild questions. I have two of them. So it's going to be, you can answer this one or this one, but you have <laughs> nice. to answer one of them. <laughs> All right. So the first one you can answer is what is the most desperate thing you have done to win a lover back or what happens in the porn videos that you have watched the most? <laughs> what happens? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the most desperate thing you've done to win a lover back or what happens in the porn videos you watch the most? <laughs> Let's start with Ryan. 
Oh God. <laughs> Oh. It's got to be desperate too if you get that route. Shit. It's got to be some embarrassing shit. <laughs> oh, God. Um, what what have I done? You're the um, guest. You got to answer both of them. I'm, I'm, definitely like, I'm definitely like crying in the street and like had a fucking meltdown on my hands and knees. I'm like, no. <laughs> I've definitely come, done that. You know. Did she come back? <laughs> No, <laughs> no never come back. Left so, there. Just that the girl that you were dating in 2020. That was the same girl with the limo, uh, the limo lights. <laughs> so, Way you know, back in hey, what a segue, dude, I get it. You know, I'm a, I'm a fucking nutcase, so it's fine. I get it. Um, All right, what happens in the porns you watch? You're the guest. You have to do both of them. <laughs> what happens in the porns I watch? Uh, the dude comes. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Every time. The dude comes every time, no doubt about it. <laughs> Isn't it weird? Like you're just so watching porn. There's just, like, there's just like a fucking huge dick in your face. Just ram it and you're like, fuck yeah. <laughs> it's like, dude, this is great. Dude, that guy's got a hammer. <laughs> you're like, Jesus Good. Christ. For you, bro. <laughs> Damn, that's what uncircumcised looks like. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, Trey, which one? Oh, uh, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of desperate things I've done to get a girl back, but I can't really think of any. Um, I, I'll i go. I, had, right. I One time, I got blocked, and I downloaded like a, like a fucking texting app. Oh, and like man. paid like three ninety nine to get like another number and texted her and asked her to unblock me. And Damn. she just blocked that number too. One time I <laughs> was pretty go. fucking desperate. I, I was mean, like, what an idiot. Yeah, bitch. I'm kind of into, in, into some weird porn, so I don't really want to talk about that. <laughs> uh, I but, know. Uh, I know. <laughs> we watched it <laughs> together <laughs> in the same room. <laughs> With a pillow in between. Don't don't look, look, like like I said. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we really good. have. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't jerked off in the same no, room. Yeah. No. <laughs> but when it got intense, I was like, all right, I'm going to my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> my dick's hard. I'm around the man. This is weird. <laughs> Don't look at me when I say no. <laughs> 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 that came from Trey. <laughs> uh, no this might be the funniest episode we've ever done. <laughs> I'm about to stand up. Look away. Um, well, uh, me and one of my exes, we um, uh, actually learned this from you. Um, you told me oh, one no. time you dated this girl and that um, after y'all broke up, y'all like dated in high school or something. And after y'all broke up, you always made playlists on Spotify. It was called yeah. like, If You're Listening. Yeah. And it was made for her. Yeah. So like... When when you told me about that, I started making playlists for uh for my ex girlfriend, and like I would name them like things like even like when we were like broken up, and I was mad at her, I'd be like, "I fucking hate you, bitch." Would be the name of my playlist. <laughs> yeah. But like uh uh in more recent times, I made one that was just like her name and comma, "I love you." Yeah, and then uh, it's good therapy. Yeah, there and then go. and then. <laughs> Then she um, Venmoed me one dollar. She was blocked on everything oh, and I said, "Unblock me, please." I've yeah. had that happen. Yeah. So did you return the dollar? Did you keep it? Uh, I kept it, but yeah. I unblocked her. Yeah. yeah, we hung out. That'll work. Yeah. There you go. I don't know desperate things. I, maybe like I definitely did a Craigslist like misconnection one time, <laughs> but like about an ex. You know what I mean? There yeah. you go. I'm, I'm dating myself here a little bit when y'all when we still went on Craigslist, but like yeah. that's probably the most desperate thing. And then I mean porn. You know, I've been watching porn for a long time. Damn, Nikki T's doing both of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they had the hairy snatches when you were coming Dude, up. Dude, yeah. yeah, yeah, that was a thing. <laughs> so that's coming back around now, ain't it? Uh, I'll tell you this: uh, 1994 March. My mom bought me my first Playboy because she said the woman's body is a beautiful thing and it's nothing to be ashamed of. No she's shit. Like, she's like, no smut mags, Fuck yeah. but like the woman's body is a beautiful thing. God bless my mom for being a hippie, you know? Yeah, that yeah. don't happen in the South. But <laughs> I remember no. still to this day, I have a vision in my head of the centerfold from 1994. Hell you know? Sick. And then. Uh, bang. Yes. And then college. God <laughs> bless college. The skin off that thing. Well, yeah. When I first got to college, like we had a T1 line. So it was like first high speed internet like I ever had. You yeah. Know? 
So uh, we had we had like got on there and like you could download porn on like whatever. Lamar. I remember Mike in Brazil. Like I remember I would just watch any Mike in Brazil video. Like probably the most porn I ever watched was Never Mike in Brazil. That's because probably not the first anymore. porn I watched was a milf hunter. Do milf hunter? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Milf, yeah. Hunter. milf yeah. hunter. Mr. Cheese Asian Beavers. Remember that song? Uh, <laughs> I just heard milf hunter because he put like the two minute like trailers yeah, up, yeah. and yeah. that was enough for me. That was yeah. long enough. <laughs> it's enough for me. <laughs> I tried to like take my stroke from the milf hunter. You know what yeah. I mean? Dude. Like that was like. Did you watch the milf hunter? Watching porn used to be way hard. He was a Florida man. One milf hunter video. No, I never did. Where he's like, one. he's having sex missionary, and he's just like, why he's doing it? He's like, <laughs> the girl's t- hitting her titties. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen? I just remember me and my friend Trip were always t- awesome. <laughs> we'd just pass each other in the hall at school and be like. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Coyne, what, what what's your answers, Matt Coyne? Yeah, I'd like to know. Like, yeah, come on, you. Matt. You're part of this. Yeah. Oh, what am I? The, what what's just serious? What's you up? have to answer both. Yeah, both. both. Uh, what, am, what am I? The porn thing? Yeah, what happens in the porn you watch the most? And uh, what's the most Man, desperate thing know. you've done? I'm kind of into amateur shit, like the, you know, like, I don't know. I like it to look real. Do you want, do you want like lesbians kind of, or a dick and a, a vagina? He likes straight sex. Oh, lesbian yeah. does nothing for me. Yeah, yeah. lesbian's kind of like... They don't want a guy. They don't want me. I mean... Yeah, <laughs> yeah fuck that. Like, yeah. I want to see a big fucking lady dick. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have fun. They're not into chubby, man. <laughs> <I'm like, laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they start a porn, no I say, "Thank God you're not fat." I'm like, "Off next." <laughs> <laughs> dude, what will, what will make you change a porn video the quickest? Dude, there's guys that are into getting shit on and, and told <laughs> oh, wait, that they have little dicks. <laughs> we just watched two girls in one cup like two episodes like, ago. <laughs> there's a whole fetish for dudes that are like, "Tell me you hate me and spit on me and like crush my." <laughs> they tell me my dick is small. Yeah, have you I'm seen trains? That's that. their thing. And like, I used to like. You know, there was a time in my life where I was dating a person who did that for like a job. And it Damn. was, <laughs> it was nuts. I learned a lot about dudes <laughs> that I didn't fucking know. And I'm a dude, you know, but well, yeah, it's my rule. Women, women see a completely different side. My of rule our is, species is that uh, you never know what you're into until it happens. So there you go. That's true. That is so true. What's the most a girl sticker telling in my ear one time, and I just <laughs> you're like, I'm there. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> Wet Willie McGee. Pow. Pow. <laughs> <laughs> I had you like this, Ron. I had a friend in high school. <laughs> Every time he would come, he would scream. Pow! <laughs> like, so he like we were like at a party one time. He took this girl to the back room and everything, and we kind of forgot he was gone. And you just hear in the distance him just go. <laughs> that's like, where you do you hold it i was like <laughs> what did he f- i said what the fuck was that and i remember his little brother was next to me i was like what the fuck was that and he was like oh that's what he does when he comes and I, was like, <laughs> oh my God. I was like that poor girl his brother knows his brother's in his room like Oh damn it! Timmy's jerking off again. He was like, one time. Uh, so my favorite thing to do is like make up really like abstract lies, like just for no reason at all. Right. And we were in college one time, and me and Clay Clay played a show. Uh, Clay Barker, the guy I managed, yeah, yeah. he played a show, like a little acoustic show. And this girl, after the show, me and Clay would always go to Taco Bell. It was like our thing. And we leave the bar, and this girl's like, hey, I'm coming with y'all. She wasn't even with, I don't know, it was weird. But So we're in Clay's Forerunner. The whole back is full of gear. So there's only the two front seats. So she sits in the middle console, sits on it. And we go, it. Yeah, we're going through the Taco Bell drive-thru, and she's asking us a bunch of questions like, you know, when did y'all become friends, this, that, and another. And she's like, so why don't y'all live together? And I looked at Clay, and I said, well, Clay, can I tell her? And Clay knows I love to lie, so he was like, oh, I guess so, dude. Tell her. <laughs> and so I look at her all serious, and I was like, well, you know, we're good friends, and, and you know, we love each other. Um, but unfortunately, every time Clay jacks off, he also yodels at the same time. It's the only way he can finish. And 
And I said, I learned that in hotels, like being on the road with them. And, and I said, that's just too much for me. I can't, I can't live with you if you're going to yodel every time you jack off. Yodels. And she was, dude, she was like, Oh my God, I totally get it. That's He's a weird. yoder. And she's like looking at him. She's like, you really yodel and Clay's over there. Like, yeah, I do. <laughs> And we never told her that that was a complete lie. Man, that's great. So did Clay yodel that night or not? I mean, we, I like, we just went on about it like it was nothing. I remember like the next day he was like, "Did you ever tell that girl that was lying?" I was like, "No." (laughs) (laughs) That girl probably thinks Clay yodels when he takes off. (laughs) And Clay's just like such a stand-up guy, like so nice that she totally believed it. Yeah, it was great. great. Oh man! Well, boys, this has been a great episode. We think. I mean, anytime we get to talk about porn, I'm a pretty happy man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to know really quick what the fuck was this with the like the engagement? Is this real? Is this a bullshit? Was it uh, a faux engagement? Did you buy a ring out of a quarter machine? You twisted it up. You you gave it to her. No, the so he's been um, engaged twice, been and engaged it's all twice. fake. Yeah, but it's for fun. <laughs> It's for fun. We're, we're doing, might it, have to we're cut doing it, it to promote my music. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. I, I was like thinking yeah. that was what it was, but, but like, I'm like, is it fake? There's no way. Yeah, but is it fake? Is it fake though? Yeah, hey, because like I, I still, hey, I still talk to the first one, so yeah, yeah. And and like, what's a real engagement until you get married, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. like, theoretically, he's still engaged. It's like yeah. an open relationship. <laughs> <you know>? <laughs> <laughs> hey, our friends are like that. that. Follow him on OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, his DMs are open. Yeah, his so. DMs are yeah, open. His DMs are open. All right, I have um, one last question uh, for you, Ron. If someone wants to slide in the DMs of a Florida man, not you, but like what tips do you have for girls that want to DM a Florida man? What do you think a good starting line is? I mean, well, here's the way I always look at with with Florida people, okay? Don't DM you because you got to remember this. Kill it's, kill him. it's hot as hell. Unless you want your right. car keyed. I mean, you got like two or three months a year where it's not hot as hell, but it's mostly hot as hell, right? People wear very little clothing because we sweat. If if you got like Arizona or, you know, New Mexico, it's hot there too, or Texas, but it's a drier heat. So people typically wear more clothes so that the sweat stays on them so they don't die. Uh, Where (laughs) I'm from, you sweat your balls off at all times or titties. Whichever one you have, and <laughs> or both, yeah, or, or both, yeah, under, or, or you know, hey, but we're all in sweat. Hey, we're dinner. inclusive here, so you know, yeah. whatever, whatever the fuck you got is sweating off. All of the above, and um, you know, I think the uh, the idea with with that is people just are more likely to be loose and just fuck. Yeah, you know, so. like and we're all half naked. We're always kind of sweating, a, just a, just a like a light like layer of sweat on every titty. If you're not getting a nude from on, a Florida on, girl. on every set of abs or or gut or beautiful gut that you have. There's always a little layer of sweat on it. So you know, everyone gets a little a little aroused in public a lot more often. So you know, I think if you're gonna go, just like totally fucking send it. Be like, I want to sniff your asshole. <laughs> Or, or, you know, and like for the chicks, like, like girls hear that shit all the time. If a guy hears, I want to sniff your asshole. You're like, damn, that's a down ass bitch. And, <laughs> and I mean, you know, y- y'all, <laughs> y'all from Alabama, it's not a whole lot different. I think, I think this might work for an Alabama boy too, but you know, just the raunch, you're the better. Come right out the gate with it. You know, like we talked about before, I know the middle-aged ladies. We watch porn a lot, so just be as filthy <laughs> as you can. The middle-aged ladies are already on that game, but, you know, if you're they if you're a little younger and you're trying to figure out how to hit on a, a Florida man or, or some sort of wild redneck, you know, I think just going at it, uh, just like, hey – let me sniff that butt or let me shit on your chest or shit on my chest. <laughs> or whatever girl, I think those shampoo. all work really nice. So keep those coming to yeah. Trey's cool. DMs. <laughs> 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 or Nicky T's. Oh, or Nicky T's DMs. Yeah. Yeah, Hit the Ray's Rowdy that. site with some raunchy shit. <laughs> yeah. All the girls will love it. <laughs> Just DM the Ray's Rowdy account. Somebody will reply. <laughs> well, uh, Nicky T, thank you. And uh, Ryan Nelson, thank you for coming on DM Monday podcast, episode 28. Y'all be sure to rate and subscribe, and uh, we'll see y'all next time. Peace out. Give a holler to that blue collar boy out in the hall. Let him ride you out the city around the farm to 
some fishing in the dark Get you digging out the stars a little closer out here No, if you need a little change of view You wanna see how the down hole looks on you Light it up, he'll be gone Just give a country boy a call If you wanna see what you hear in them country songs Wanna watch a harvest moon hang all night long If you wanna stick them high risers in the rear view He's got a cross hanging from the middle one All you gotta do is give a holler To that blue collar boy out in the holler Let him ride you out the city around the farm Do some fishing in the dark Get you digging how the stars a little closer at